All right, so we stopped short of our goal yesterday, but uh, here's the deal. The Smokies is, uh, you have to stay in the shelters only, and the shelters are pretty much full um, each night that we've been out here. So um, if we'd have went on to the next shelter, it'd have been past dark before we'd have got there, the mileage that we were getting, mile per hour stuff. Um, especially with the uh, scent that we still had to climb. Um, so we didn't want to roll in and interrupt people sleeping and stuff like that. So we stopped at the, sh at the shelter at 4 o'clock, which is way early than we'd want to stop. But also gave us a chance to refuel, um, get a lot of food in our system and all that good stuff. So it was a, it was a good stay. Lots of cool hikers there. So... Uh, even got a little fire going last night, so it was a good night. It is cold out here today. The wind is ferocious. I just found a spot that's not so windy, so I thought I'd record real quick. Um, Money's not full of energy today, so he stayed back a little ways. He's going to take it slow. I'm feeling full of energy today with all the cold and wind. So I'm moving ahead. We'll meet up at Klingman's Dome in about eight miles. So get to do a little hiking alone today. We'll see what thoughts go through my head. So last night, I ate a freeze-dried lasagna and a packet of ramen with a packet of chicken in it. And I was still hungry when I went to bed. So I'd say the uh, hunger is kicking in. It has been cold today. wind is relentless. Usually you get out of it every once in a while. Uh, it's pretty rare today to be getting out of the wind. And it's cold and I uh, had my jacket on for a while but I was sweating and cold so I took it off and now I'm just cold. So I don't know which is better. I'll probably put my jacket back on here in just a little bit. I'm not sure what shelter this is. Right where we were going to go last night. 5.7 in. These red pokey things keep slapping me on the way up. That's a heck of a climb today. And I think we got a lot of it. We're going up to Klingman's Dome. <sighs> We're about to cap a mountain though, so once I get up here, need an energy bar and uh, get something in my stomach so I can keep going. Made it to the top. Now back down to climb another one. So the map says these are the Narrows. It's pretty narrow, but we've been on narrower. Maybe there's some more narrows. But pretty cool right here. Out of the wind, so I'm taking my time right here. Man, it's cold and windy. All right, so we got a little narrower there for a little bit. Really cool section of the trail.
Quite a special day today. These trees, I don't know, they look really cool right now. But if you came through here in the fog, this would be a little bit spooky. So just past Double Spring Shelter, a whole bunch of the people we were staying with last night had gotten a weather report. And it sounds like it's supposed to be even windier, colder, and really rainy tomorrow. They're all getting off the trail at Klingman's Dome. So I'm not sure what we will do yet. I'll have to talk to Money when he catches up to me and see what he's feeling. Look at all this green. Really cool. If this would just stay like this till Klingman's, I'd be alright. I would not complain one bit. Somewhat flat, soft ground. This is great. Alright, I'm hoping up there is Klingman's Dome. If not, I'm in trouble. I've been pushing hard today. Well, that wasn't it. We've got a little ways further to go and more uphill. Alright, Klingman's is point two away. We have passed the 200 mile mark of the trail. Well, it wasn't a mark. I've been over 200 miles now. Less than 2,000 to go. This is why you need ice spikes in the Smokies. We've only got little sections of it so far. But if it was uh, rainy at all today, this would be really slippery. So we are about a half a mile to a mile away from the shelter. Uh, money caught up to me at Newfound or at uh, Klingman's Dome. He uh, took a took a wrong turn a little bit before there and ended up in the visitor center parking lot. One of the other guys that we'd stayed with last night did the same thing. So, uh, but he caught back up. So we're going into the shelter together here. Um, Going to look at the weather for tomorrow and make a determination of whether to stay out here or go in and take sh take shelter. Um, the wind's blowing hard today. It's taken the tops off of many pine trees as we were walking through those pine forests. There were, there were tops laying on the ground. There were half of trees laying on the ground. Um, I didn't take any videos of that because I was rushing through 
to uh, make sure nothing fell on me. We're on the safe side of the mountain now where it's not quite windy on this side for the first time today. But we'll see what happens tomorrow. Either way, what happens was meant to happen. So we are uh, probably going to go in to the shelter, cook some food, and uh, get bed set and get ready for tomorrow. And the winds are supposed to be higher tomorrow. Somebody did a lot of digging. Still really cool up here. see light a little bit better on the camera but it is really dark in here getting down out of the wind hopefully the shelter won't be out where the wind catches it like last night the uh, the tarp on the front of the shelter just flapped and flapped and flapped and I finally fell asleep and once I did I was I was good to go for the night the only problem I have is I sleep on my side and out here in the shelters, my hips get to hurting while I'm laying on one side, and then I'll flip over to the other side, and then that hip will get to hurting, and then I have to lay on my back, and I can't sleep on my back anymore, so. Um, so I just lay there for a while and let my hips get better, then I start all over again. <laughs> Call it rotisserie sleeping. Okay, here's Taco's tip of the day. Be kind, rewind before you send your VHS's back to the video store. Oh wait, that was a long time ago. I can't think of anything today. I'll try to come up with something good for tomorrow. Okay, so we got another half a mile walk from here into Mount Collins Shelter. Um, this doesn't count for mileage because it's not on the Appalachian Trail. So, this is just extra mileage. I do a little bit of this every day. If I can, I like to fill up my water bottle on the trail. And if I can, I like to camp along the trail or stay at a shelter that's really close to the sh trail. But for today, this is our option. So, we're hiking back in here. I think this will be the last time I have a video today. I'll spare you 